dear students so today through this video we are going to see the relationship between arrays and pointers so we have seen pointers and now we are going to talk about the relationship between them arrays and pointers so arrays are used to store similar type of large number of data we can use arrays and pointers are basically variables that can store addresses so the very basic relationship between them is that every array okay every array name is a pointer to the first value in that particular array which means that say if i am defining an array okay i am defining an array say int x of 10 when i define a statement like this it means that i am going to store 10 integer values inside the array x okay so i am defining the different values in the say i am putting something like this an expression uh, x e, x of 10 is equal to say 10 11 12 13 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, okay, it's not there, so I have defined 10 values inside that array, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, so currently this array x is having 10 integers stored in it. Now if you are seeing in the back end, what is backing in the, happening in the back end? So in the back end, this array will be stored in uh, compartments. Okay, we are putting something like this. Let this be the, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So 10 compartments of memory will be allocated for this particular variable that is x okay which is an array so x of 10 will reserve this many spaces or compartments in the memory now we are going to see the content so each box is going to have a content so this is 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 and we can see the different properties or different uh, characteristics of an array so the first one i'm talking about the index okay we know that what indexing is so index is basically zero for the first variable one two three four five six seven eight and nine this is the indexing similarly we have uh, address locations right address say memory location or address let this be having an address of say 500 so what about this? This is an integer. Okay. What is the size requirement for an integer? We know that if it is an integer in a 32 bit or 64 bit system, integer, if I'm putting an operator like this, that is size of int, we have seen what size of is. A size of integer will give a result of four bytes. Okay. Size of int is four byte. So, the first one we got it as 500 so next will be 504 because this is going to occupy 4 bytes so 500 500 501 502 and 503 will be the uh, memory requirement for this compartment so next starts with 504 so this is going to be 508 so 4 bytes per compartment so 50 uh, so 512 516 520 524 528 532 and 536 so that's how the memory locations are going to be named <clears throat> so we have this now we are going to talk about pointers okay this was the array part now we are going to talk about the pointer part so when we are looking at the pointer part say if I am writing a statement like uh, and x Okay, when I write and x, that is what is a, this ampersand or and operator? That is a referencing operator which gives us the address. 
So if I make such a statement, this statement is going to give a data of 500, which is the memory location of the very first value in the array or the index position 0, whatever value is there, its address will be given by this particular operator, which means that the name of the array is a pointer to the first value of the array. Okay. Right. So you got this. Now, instead of this, if I'm trying a different approach, say if I'm writing uh, a statement like this, so this is one, so I'm going to get this. Now, if I try this option, this is dereferencing operator, right? What will be star x? What is going to be star x? Star x is also going to give you a similar value. So, what is x? x is the pointer to the first value. So, star means is a dereferencing operator. So, what is the value stored in that particular address that is star of 500 the value stored in 500 is 10 okay star x is going to give you 10 okay what is the so what is the value that i'm going to get if i simply write x what is the value stored in x it is also what will what is the value stored in x it is 500 okay so you should get a clear picture of this particular process so this is a reference address so and x is 500 simply if i write x it is also good to give me the address of the first location and star of x is equal to 10 but instead of this if i am writing as x of 0 and what will be the result now? X of 0 will be giving the value stored in the index 0 which will be 10. So if I am writing X, it is going to have an address which is basically a pointer. But if I am writing X of 0, it is going to give me the value stored in it. Okay. Now I am trying a different combination. So I have done this. Now I am trying for, uh, so star X is 10. Fine. So star x plus 1, what will that be? What do you mean by star x plus 1? Star x plus 1 means that, okay, it is not the normal numerical addition we are talking about. Here this 1, okay, the 1 what we have written here is called as offset. Okay, so how many offsets are placed? That's basically 1. So, if you are defining an array having data type as integer, the offset means that it is 4 bytes. Okay, the offset is 4 bytes. So, this basically means that this is star of x we already have. What is x? x is 500. So, 500 plus as it is an integer data type, one offset will represent 4 bytes. So plus 4, that is star of phi not 4, okay, what is the value stored in phi not 4? This is a dereferencing op operator. So in the address phi not 4, the value stored is 11. So it's going to be 11, okay. So let's see another one. What will be star x plus say 4? What will this give? So now I'm talking about x plus 4. x we have 500. So 500 plus 4 times 4 because this is offset. Each offset as it is integer it is 4. So this is basically star of 500 plus 4 times 4. And what is that? 500 and star of 516 and we have that value as 14. Okay. And if you want to access this 14, there is another way. What is another way? This is x of 4. So which means that you can use either 
this method of fetching a value stored in an array or you can use the pointer approach by using this concept. So this can be written in general as dereferencing operator x plus i. Okay, I'm putting uh, yeah, x plus i. So what is what will this point to? This will point to the variable or the value stored in x of you can see here x plus 4 here it is 4 so x of i so this is the important point that you need to remember when you are relating a pointer to a one dimensional array okay we were dealing with one dimensional array so if you want to access a value in an array you can either use this approach that we have been using since the very beginning or when we started discussing about arrays and this is the pointer approach of accessing the same data okay this is applicable for a 1d array so now we were talking about integer array now we can see a different case okay i'm going to talk about uh, the case of a uh, character array let's see how it goes I'm going to work out so i'm making the de definition say int okay what we want is not int character array so character say ch of five okay so what happens in the back end in the back end it will be creating different compartments to store five data and let this be a b c d and e so five data is getting stored in the back end so if i, if I go for the ray, uh, indexing zero one two three and four and memory location say the memory location starts from uh, let uh, the first value be say 200 just for a change so what is the offset here that's what we want to know as here the data type is character what is the size of character it is one byte so what will be the offset in this case offset will be one which means that if the first one is 200 the next will be 201 to not two, to not three, and to not four. Okay, so now how can I access it? Say I'm writing two statements and let's see what the values are going to be. Say if I'm going with the printf statement, okay, we're very familiar with this printf, say percentage D, okay, ch, okay, that's the first statement I'm making. The second one printf uh, percentage d okay percentage d c h and c h okay so two statements i have made now i'm just i will first write the commands and then we will predict the different values okay then i'm trying this printf Percentage C, CH of 3, then again printf, percentage C, star CH plus 4, okay. Let's try predicting the different values that's that is going to come as the output for these different statements. So what this is talking about? This is talking about CH. So what is CH? CH is the address of the first value stored in the array. If I'm using simply CH, it is a pointer to the first value stored in the array. The pointer means what is the address of the first value? The address of first value is 200. So this is going to give the answer as 200. Okay, this is going to print 200. What about here? This is and ch. It is the same. It is asking about the address of the first one. So it is also 200. What about here? C, uh, percentage C. So what we are expecting is a character. Ch of 3. So 3 is the index because it is written in square bracket. Ch of 3, index 3 contains a value which is D. What about here? 
ch so ch is when we write ch simply it is the address address plus offset here the offset is 1 so ch plus 4 ch is 200 200 plus 4 which is 204 and it contains a value because it's dereferencing so star of 204 okay i'm writing it like here star of 204 which is the value e so these different statements are going to give these kind of values so in examination you can expect problems which may ask you to uh, access array using pointers that's the name of this particular topic accessing arrays using pointers so in the program you may have to access data not in this format but in a format like this so here what we are going to follow the expression will be star of x plus i is equal to x of i okay i'm again highlighting this because this is how we are going to approach the programs involving accessing data in arrays using pointers okay accessing data in arrays using pointers okay thank you